All right. Welcome to how to get your computer set up no matter where you are on the network and even at home when we add an extra video on top of this. When you set up computer programs, there very often is a large set of settings and addresses to which they go for. So here, at least in T142 with Mark Patak's classes, we are going to use, and we already are using, two kind of standard things. One is learning how to map a network drive from anywhere on the network, and the other one is using an AutoCAD profile. We will be adding something called workspaces to this as well. So you sit down at any computer on the network. Hopefully you have done made a file, a shortcut to do this, but I'm going to go through and get you to the point where hopefully you start to learn that you can remember where drive spaces are or keep notes on those um, so that when you get off the network and maybe in your firm you know you can add a suffix or a, I'm sorry a prefix to that address to get you a little bit farther um, or deeper into a network from outside the network and so the general skill is to go to my computer I'm double clicking on my computer I'm going to tools map a network drive and I'm gonna select we're going to be using the K drive at this point in time now I know everyone likes to browse but the fact is in this case it's hard to browse out when you're not on the network so we're gonna to learn to get put in the addresses with a backslash backslash over the enter key so backslash backslash WRDATA that's Wisconsin Rapids data and that will work when you're on another campus as well backslash shared dollar sign backslash students underscore which is over the dash key underscore read underscore write underscore delete backslash civil tech and that's only civil tech because that's how we started this set of standards realize here this is an area of the drive that students will have an ability to delete out of so we may actually go ahead and change this addressing sometime in the near future because students are having a hard time not deleting out there for some reason however we will be backing up uh, on a regular basis and reinstalling that drive that directory when you hit finish here now you actually have a drive called the K drive which is not the K drive but it acts like the K drive just like your H drive is not the H drive but it acts like the H drive and the S drive is not the S drive it acts like the S drive you can see that by going to my computer tools disconnect network drive and you start to see essentially all what all the actual addresses are in each of these drives or down here in my computer you see it here as well it shows what the actual addresses are for each of these things where they're mapped so my Mark Patak's home drive is on the WR STF home directory in WR staff so so we've kind of got the fact that our K drive is on WR data shared dollar sign students read write delete civil tech it's civil tech on so the directory is all the way at and then civil tech added onto the back of that all right you have now mapped the drive the next step is to go into AutoCAD hopefully through the front door and realize even if you are into an existing file that everything looks right you still should get in the habit of this of doing this every time you sit down at AutoCAD at a new computer and probably every time you sit down to AutoCAD anyway what you're gonna do is you're going to right click and I'm going to try that again. I'm going to right click over the black space, right click, and I go down to options, which you can't see because it fell off the screen there. But options is the command. Starting to learn commands, not just where they are. Options is a big one. Uh, line is a big one. So I clicked options. I got to here. Very often, even though I'm probably drafting right, it's a good idea to go up to the unnamed profile and hit set current go out and actually to the profile that you think you're using and delete it if it's not there don't worry about deleting it now what you're going to do is you're going to import a profile from a standard place that standard place would be out in the K drive in a directory called standards 
since you're working at AutoCAD, that will be standards-AutoCAD or ACAD. If you are working in SketchUp, it might be standards-SketchUp. If you are working in Civil 3D or Electrical or whatever, you would be getting a standard profile from a standard place. So I'm going to hit Import here. You learn to do this in programs to always be aware that you're going to the K standards AutoCAD profile. So right here, you know you're here. If you were just doing it for the first time, you'd go to K, go to standards AutoCAD and look for the profiles. There's a lot of standards that are stored out here. Double click on the profiles, find the profile you're interested in. Click open, and here's where apply and close, and here's where many students will have a, make an error. You need to say set current. Sorry, that's just the way it works. You hit OK here. Now you think you're in the right spot. You think everything's correct. It should look a little bit differently, perhaps. You see here a lot of this other stuff might not change, but the key thing you're trying to establish here is that a lot of the settings are made correctly. You establish that that indeed is true by going here to new or just typing underscore new, new drawing, and you get the short list, which shows that it has changed your template directory for where you're getting your base AutoCAD template. So in the, at this point, if you were in an existing drawing, you wouldn't make a new drawing. You would just get to this point and hit cancel. But if you wanted to basically begin a new drawing correctly, you would go new drawing, and then you would pick up the one you're interested in, which might be decimal feet. Now, as you know, the next thing you want to do is file, save as right away, drawing, and put it in the right spot. That habit of going up so you're going to the right spot becomes incredibly important in all kinds of programs as you work from network to network. Don't just let them put things where... Um, the program wants to. You want to be proactive about it. In this case, we're into October. Hooray, October, the beginning of the water year, October 1st. There you go. So now you actually have everything established, and it so should look correctly. Now, we're going to take you out and start exposing you to what some of the other classes are doing, and we're going to try to bring this together. And that is essentially this concept of where uh, some of these other workspaces here that are there. So if you want to make some changes, so I'm going to do that right now to your workspace. For instance, I don't want all these toolbars up. I'm going to right-click on any toolbar. I'm just going to leave on the Draw toolbar, right-click on any toolbar, turn off there, right-click on any toolbar, turn off parametric, right-click on any toolbar, turn off properties, right-click on any toolbar. And I know there's a better way. Right-click in the black space, go up to here, and click off what you want. So all I want for now is styles, the styles, the, I'm sorry, the draw, the modify, and the workspaces on. So the workspaces are down here on the bottom right or right up here. You see the workspaces are there. Really kind of, they're, they're shown in two places here. Sets so the workspace, and we start, We see that that dub workspace current is one command that comes out of that workspace settings, and the dialog. So I'm going to try this one workspace settings and see. Here's all this workspaces in my workspace, right? Now we want to double check. We're trying to figure out where exactly this workspace is saved, but I'm going to go to here, right? I'm going to move it up to the top. So this concept of workspaces now, when I say workspace save current as I'm gonna go ahead and save the current as Mark Patak and save Do you want to replace it sure which means I'm gonna now go out and when I come back the next time at this computer only my workspace will be saved so let me get out of here exit AutoCAD we're running out of time save changes no I'm not gonna go through the remapping but I'm gonna go back into AutoCAD now you know as I went through here I shouldn't have to do it again but in fact, my workspace is set. I'm going to check this at another computer. It will not travel with me, but we're going to figure that out. Right click, options. I don't need to go through this the next time, but I could is I, if I sat at a new machine. What did this change? Most specifically for me and my classes, it's changed the plot style search path. There's a lot of other things that's changed as well, particularly with regard to your interface, but we'll deal with that later. That's everything. Take notes. Learn to do it at all kinds of computers. See you. Bye.